already at work. I woke up super late. And I have the worst allergies. But um, I am doing a what I eat in a day today because I'm trying a new recipe tonight so I wanted to show you guys. But <clears throat> to show you all my breakfast, here is my coffee. Uh, today it's like super creamy. I did not mean to put this much creamer. Um, but it's just cold brew and sugar-free French vanilla uh, creamer. It's a little too sweet for me, but I really need it this morning. I'm coming back from a crazy good weekend. So I ate a bunch of bad stuff. So waking up today was extremely difficult. Like, I feel like I was hit by a train in the middle of the night. Also, it was like super windy last night, so I kept waking up, but... I brought a boiled egg <clears throat> and then I also made uh, I made avocado toast you can't really tell um, it was a very hard <laughs> avocado so I couldn't spread it out that easily but it's fine so this is my <clears throat> I have two points worth of avocado and my toast is two points, and I don't count my coffee, and egg is zero, so four point breakfast. Breakfast? Is it breakfast or break? That's right, yeah, breakfast. I'm tired. And then I have my water, and I really, really, really wanna finish drinking this before lunch, so that is my goal. But yeah, I'll see you guys at lunchtime, or if I get hungry before lunchtime then I'll get on here which I do give myself grace because um <clears throat> was, I ate so bad this weekend like I just like ate whatever I wanted it honestly wasn't too too bad I only gained 0.7 pounds which I know a lot of that is water weight so I'm not really bummed like I knew I was gonna gain weight because of how I ate but I'm glad it was only 0.7 so <clears throat> I give myself grace today because I'm adjusting from like literally snacking and eating all day long to being a little bit more cautious. So I'm um, gracious to myself today. Hello. So it's lunchtime and I am, oh my gosh, my stomach is growling. I think I'm just going to eat a sandwich for lunch. I don't know what um what else to eat i'm gonna eat pasta tonight so i would normally eat something lighter during lunch um not as hefty as a sandwich because i think my sandwich will be like six points and then um i'll probably have hummus and carrots and probably some pretzels which will make it about nine points but I don't know what else to eat and I'm really hungry because like I said I just came back from eating so bad <laughs> this weekend so like I'm like my body's used to like getting food like a good amount of it um but I think I'm gonna go ahead and eat the sandwich normally I would have like a soup if I'm gonna have like a hefty dinner but I I can fit it into my points and I do eat my weeklies and I spread them throughout the week unless I know like I'm gonna go out to eat some like on Saturday or something then I'll save my weeklies and usually do some rollovers but I'm not doing anything special this weekend so I know I'm gonna spread out my weeklies and I can kind of explain how I do that my kitchen's a mess because this weekend was just so much fun so yeah, I'll show you all how I make my sandwich. <clears throat> so first things first, my bread. This is a carb watch bread. It's sweetened with Splenda. It is so good. I get it from Brahms, which is like a burger place, but it is so good, so soft. <sighs> Let's just spill all this. Look how soft this bread is. Like it is just like perfect. It is so good, especially for sandwiches. I 
I really want hot Cheetos with this sandwich, but I think I'm gonna not have them so I can um, have them as a snack later. So I'm gonna try to hold out. I put my hair up because it's just like super gross. So I'm going to do one tablespoon of light mayo, which is one point. Lettuce. And six slices of turkey is uh, two points. Cheese. I'm actually going to put some avocado, which will bring this up. But I'm only going to use a little bit. So we'll see. I'm going to weigh it out. So now I'm going to add my avocado, which is 28 grams, which is one point worth of avocado, which is really more than enough. So there is my seven point sandwich, two points for the red, two points for the turkey, one point for the cheese, one point for the mayo, and one point for the avocado. And now I'm going to get some of this roasted red pepper hummus two tablespoons worth and with my hummus I'm gonna eat some carrots some cucumbers and then I also have some little baby bell peppers and then a pickle pickles are so good gosh it's so sour oh and I did finish my water this is my second one I can tell I'm like already right here so I'm doing good Hello. So I ate my sandwich with some vegetables, which was just cucumber, carrots, bell peppers. It was really good. It filled me up. I can tell I'm like full. And I struggled finishing my hummus too, so that's always good. <laughs> but I needed to go to Aldi to pick up some stuff um, for the week because... We used a lot more than what I thought when my sister and brother-in-law came. So it's just some like chicken and coffee and I like can't go on without coffee. And we would be out by today. So I needed to go today. My kitchen is a mess. I just touched something sticky. I don't know what that was. But I thought I would just show y'all a little tiny grocery haul. So I got these pretzels. I got these last time. These are so good. Um, they're like, they just surprise you with their taste, but I meant to grab these. I meant to grab the original, like plain one. So I was there. I was like, might as well get it. I saw these. I don't need these, but I love Rice Krispie Treats and I saw these. They're mini, which I have the mini. Well, like these aren't, these are like the regular size, I guess. I guess that's bad because the regular size to me is that really big long one but this is like I guess the regular size this is my last one it's not like I just bought more it's my last one but I saw these at Aldi and they're literally mini and they're only two points they're only two points for one which this is like a perfect just like oh, I just need something sweet like I can keep these in my office they're so cute like they're so full of air you can't tell but that's how big they are. So not big at all. I think a perfect little snack size. <sighs> then I got broccoli. Broccoli are like easy lunch vegetables to just like warm up in the microwave. And this is what I needed. We ran out of these. Chicken breast fillets. These are like five to six points. You just have to weigh it out. But they're delicious, especially on top of a salad delicious um but my husband likes them in a sandwich too so good so we ran out of those so i had to go get more because tomorrow i'm making chicken parmesan and i'm gonna use those chickens and then i ran out of creamer and i saw this pumpkin spice almond milk and i love almond milk um so i thought i would try this we'll see and I put this on my Walmart 
Walmart order. But now that I'm like, when I was there and I saw this, I was like, did they put, did they give me this? I don't think they did. So I got one just in case and I don't see one. So Walmart's been dropping the ball lately. They've just been forgetting stuff. <clears throat> um, we ran out of pepper, cracked pepper. Nathan loves cracked pepper. And we're gonna make, we're also making chicken sandwiches this week with these chickens. And Nathan wanted pepper jack cheese to go with it, so I got him some. And I've been going through these like crazy. There's zero points, like it's just unsweetened applesauce. It's so good. And I go through those, I snack on those. These help me get through the day. <laughs> And like I said, we ran out of coffee, so I got some Stoke cold brew. And we ran out of, well, apparently our milk was bad, so I needed more milk. So yeah. I also stopped by, what's it called? Oh, it's on the bag, let me see. <laughs> Burke's Outlet. I can never remember that name. Um, because my sunglasses broke. My sunglasses break every week like I don't know how to prevent it but these are them are they not so cute love them and then I saw these for five dollars which I bought some off of Amazon but I could I lost them I just can't find them these little blue light glasses so cute because I'm on the computer all the time because school practicum work I had bought some, but then I lost them, so here it is again. These look similar to the ones I bought the first time, but yeah. So that's my quick little grocery haul. Okay y'all, so I just got done putting all of my groceries away, and I really want to try one. So two points, not bad for just a random little taste test, so I'm going to do it. So this is what I eat in a day. Look how cute this is. It's perfect. So real quick, I thought I would just explain too um, how I eat my weeklies. So just drooled. So if I know that I'm gonna go out to eat like this weekend or like there's a special event or something, then I'll save my weeklies. Um, and usually I'll do like, I'll save four points every day to get more weeklies. But if I'm not doing anything special, which I'm not this week, I usually do, I have a total of 42 weeklies. So 28 dailies, 42 weeklies. So what I like to do is Monday through Thursday, I can have, I'm not saying like I do, but if I'm still hungry, I'll use up to four weeklies. So 32 day, I'll use 32 smart points for that day. Um, which today I feel like I'll probably will eat my extra four points. So I do that Monday through Thursday. Friday, I eat an extra 10 points because it's Friday. Like I'm going to enjoy, you know, the beginning of the weekend. Same for Saturday, an extra 10 points. And then Sunday, I eat about four to five points. If I, again, this is all like, if I'm like, oh, I really want to eat something or like, oh, I really want to have like this extra dessert. So on Sundays, I just stick to like four or five because my weigh-in is our Monday mornings. So I try to drink a lot more water on Sundays and not as hefty foods. Like I try to stay away from like, I don't know, like fried foods and like um, fast foods, pastas. I'm actually going to have pasta this Sunday though. But typically that's what I try to do because my weigh-in day is Monday. So I carry a lot of wait the next morning if that makes sense like I feel like grosser Monday mornings because that's like when I wake up super early and then I feel bloated if I ate something that Sunday typically you know I don't know if that makes sense but that's how I do it so four points four extra points if I'm needing it Monday through Thursday and so on like I just said but yeah so it is about 3 30 exactly and i am doing i'm just doing some studying for my practicum and i'm a little hungry and i'm gonna eat
eat probably like in two hours, so I don't want anything too hefty. So I'm eating some blueberries. They are really tart. That one wasn't, but so yeah. I really wanted some popcorn, but I wanted to go for a zero point snack because I'm going to eat pasta tonight. And I should just go ahead and put it in like the calculator or like the recipe maker to see how much it's gonna be. But I'm just too lazy. But I'm thinking it's gonna be around like 11 to 13 points. So I'm just trying to leave that much, like that many points for dinner. Um, so I don't know how many points I'm at right now. But this is a zero point. So I'm trying to save my points for nighttime because that's when I like to snack. I always have the most wispies ever. But I'm about to start making dinner. But I am seriously so hungry. It's five o'clock, like five till five. But I am so hungry. So I'm gonna eat this little, what's it called? Applesauce, I don't know why I lost my words. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna eat this and then I'm gonna start cooking. I really want hot Cheetos. But I wanna save them for after dinner, like tonight, tonight, when I'm doing homework and I like need something to keep me going. So I'm trying to hold out. I ate that applesauce in like literally two seconds. So I'm ready to make dinner. I have never made this before. So bear with me, <coughs> but I'm sure it's gonna be good because the Pinterest picture <laughs> looks really good so I'm excited and it's pasta and like you can't go wrong with pasta like pasta's freaking pasta so here we go so first thing is a yellow onion for this delicious pasta with spinach mushrooms and caramelized onions here is the onion so <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and cut this up and then I'll be back Sorry, I'm trying to put on a Netflix So, while I cut this onion because it takes me 10 years to cut an onion because I don't know how to do it. But if y'all haven't seen Private Practice, you should. Well, first you should see Grey's Anatomy and then see Private Practice. So I finally just got done cutting the onions, as you can tell. Um, so Babe actually got here and he is gonna help me with dinner. Help me with dinner. So he's going to caramelize the onion. So he put some olive oil in there. Yep. And some salt. I will. And pepper. And then also, um, we're gonna use some balsamic, just one tablespoon, balsamic vinegar. It's one point for one tablespoon, so that's how much we'll do. Actually, we might do half because this recipe actually calls for um, three yellow onions. Which is crazy. I only did one onion. Yeah, and look how and full it is that like is. That's, a lot. That's so much onion. So, I only did one onion. So let's just do a half a tablespoon of the vinegar. But yeah, so that's where we're at so far. I think I'm gonna start boiling the noodles. The um, instructions or ingredients? What is it called? Instructions says the guide to. This is basically needs to be on here for 30 minutes. That's so long. I'm so hungry. <laughs> but, um, y'all, I just got my 100th subscriber <laughs> just a while ago. I got a notification. Oh, don't look at all that Tell laundry. Your get us to 200. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I just got a notification that I got a new subscriber. Because I don't think you can see who's subscribed to you, but like randomly it'll tell you like if somebody's subscribed. And I just got that notification and they were my 100th, 100th person. So you could see the 100th. Who wants to be 101? <laughs> we'll see. Just an FYI, we um, just literally did like a, a quick splash of this balsamic, just like and it went really far, so I'm not going to count that. 
It is very strong. I don't know how. Well, I guess if you have three onions, then maybe. But a little splash was more than enough. So we took off the onions. There they are. And then you put in the mushrooms. And I just took them straight out of the package. Um, so yeah, we're just going to let these soften and then we'll add spinach. And our pasta is already cooking. So, <laughs> um, so now I'm going to add the spinach. Here is my, are my mush, oh my gosh, her pasta is about to explode. So that's pretty much good. Um, so now I'm going to add some spinach to these soft mushrooms. Show the mushrooms, babe. They're like just showing me. These look so soft and ready. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to add in the spinach little by little and let that get all wet and small. Okay. I'm going to try to put a lot of spinach in here, honestly. Okay, so next thing is to add half and half. Um, one cup is in here and you're going to let it boil for a little bit. And then once it's boiled, like let it go, to, like take it to um, low heat and let it simmer for a little bit. So now it is simmering um, and I'm going to add in half a cup of Parmesan. It actually calls for a full cup, but that just seems like a lot. And if we feel like it needs more Parmesan, then we can just like add some on our plate. So it's also a lot of points. And then we're just gonna stir that all up. And then I'm gonna add the onions back in here once I've stirred this up. Here it is. Um, it definitely doesn't mix that well together, but I don't know how it tastes yet, but I definitely could have added some chicken in there. Some like shredded chicken. Bless you. If this is good, I probably, when I make it again, I will probably add some chicken because it looks like it could use some chicken. So, uh, by the way, this whole thing is four servings, so I'm just gonna have one serving tonight. Here is the serving size. It's honestly a pretty good amount. So now I'm gonna try it, and we'll see how good this is. That's good enough. It's good. I do like it. Mm -hmm. um, this isn't what you need meat. I think it needs more salt, which is crazy because I feel like we put a lot of salt. But I'm going to put some more salt. And then I'll probably sprinkle some Parmesan cheese. I would go ahead and say do the full cup of Parmesan because regrets. But I'm just going to put it on top of my plate. So, no picky. But yeah. What would you score this, babe? Probably about like a, like a seven or eight. Seven, seven or eight? eight. Yeah. Like, does that mean? Yeah, I think I would give it a 7 or 8 too. It is good. Probably 7. I think once I put salt and parmesan, it'll be like good. Yeah, that's what I'm eating for dinner. We probably ate like an hour ago at 7.30 and I really want my hot cheetos now. So, I'm going to get... I have two dailies left and then four weeklies that I'm going to use probably because I'm just so hungry today so I have six points left so I'm going to do three points worth of hot cheetos here's my three point hot cheetos you can see it's a pretty decent amount I'm excited I've been waiting for these all day I'm not going to show my face because I just got out of the shower but I have three points left using four of my weeklies so I'm going to eat this Halloween cookie for three points. It is literally the best cookie ever. They're at HEB. If you see them, pick them up. They are for real the best cookies ever. One is three points. Two is seven points. Totally worth it though. I've been eating them and they've been working in my um, daily. So hello it's the next day but i realized i never did an outro so i just wanted to say thank you guys for watching i hope you guys got some good tips and tricks um leave a comment down below like and subscribe